It's your girl Sin and I'm back with another video. If you want to see what I'm doing today, stay tuned. T-shirt chick. Alright squad, as you see behind me, I just got a new desk for my little uh, office area of my house. And as you guys know, I still have not gave y'all a tour of my office yet, of my house yet, I'm, I'm sorry. But today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of my setup um, because right now I'm going to show you guys um, what it's like to have a t-shirt shop at home or how to set up a t-shirt shop at home. Basically, we're going to be starting a home t-shirt business and I'm going to be showing you guys some beginner equipment that you can start out with. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you guys the first thing. Now this first thing, you have seen it before, I have used it before, I have actually had it for a long time. But when I uh, first started my business, this was, this was something that I had to have. So right here in this box, you guys will find Right here, you I see you. I know you see it says rolling right here. We're gonna go ahead and pull this bad boy out and let you guys check it out and see what it is. All right, so right here, no, this is not a cameo. This is actually a rolling sticker 15 inch vinyl cutter right here. I'm gonna show you guys a close up on it. This is gonna be the first part of my at home t shirt business setup. So I'm gonna go ahead, set it up over here on the table, and take the, the rubber band off of that. Go ahead. Plug this in right here and drop this cord down behind me so that I can plug it in. Here. And go ahead and plug it in right quick. Alright, we got this bad boy set up right here. So as you see, um, and this desk right here, I'm going to let you guys check that out also, but this desk is actually just a little simple desk from Amazon. Um, it is a couple of things that I like about the desk, and I'm going to um, let you guys know. So, I'm gonna, that's going to be the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys um, what the desk looks like. Okay, I, I really, I really should have started with the desk, but this desk is actually the 47 inch cubic cubic. I'm going to put this on here just to show you. However you pronounce that right there, you know your girl may not be the best at pronouncing words. It's actually got like this little side pocket thingy right here that you can actually store some different things in there. You can store vinyl in there. You can, you know, you can store quite a few different items in there. And then you come over to this side right here and it's got a headphone holder right here you can put the headphone holder here or you can move it to the back but it's just a little basic desk and i i mean i like it a lot so far i just wanted to um let you guys check that out and it's 47 inches just to give you guys kind of a perspective of about the size of space that i'm working with and another piece that i want to show you guys along with this table right here is my chair my chair is a I don't even remember the name of the chair, but I'm, a, I'm just going to let you guys, I'm going to kind of let you guys check it out right here. So on this side, you can see what it's looking like. It's got like the quiltedness on that side. And when you turn it around, boom, it's a, it's a whole different color on the other side, as you guys see. So you got the black effect and then you got it's gray on this side. And they actually have this in a few other different colors, but as you see, it actually it actually does go well the colors match pretty good with my desk even though i did not purchase it for this desk i actually purchased it to go with my vanity right over here as you guys see this is my vanity i will leave the links for all of this stuff that I have right here down below in the description box for you just in case you're interested. Right here you guys can see that I ended up going with 
a press from Heat Press Nation. You know your girl got to represent for the Heat Press Nation. I do have affiliate links for Heat Press Nation down below this video. So if you want to help your girl out, please use my links if you're interested in any of the equipment that I use from Heat Press Nation. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this um, box so you guys can see what I actually did go with for my at home setup. All right, I don't have my blade. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my keys to open this box up. All right. It's a whole lot easier when you got that blade though. It's a whole lot easier. All right, so let me let you guys check out what press I am going to be starting my home business with. All right, so right here, this is just a piece of wood that they use for protection. I'm going to take that off, place it over here to the side, and I'm going to bring bring this over so you guys can check it out right there you guys can see what it is right there if you guys know your girl you probably already know what this press is but that's a look at everything before i pull it out of the box so so i'm gonna go ahead and take all this protective padding off all right so basically what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna just go ahead and pull the whole thing out of the box and place it up on the table. is a little bit dusty. I might have to get that shop back. Let y'all check it out. As you guys see, it does have like a little mark right here on it. And this right here, this looks like it's a little bit worn. But right over here, that's a little bit dusty right there. But your girl gonna take care of all of that. But um, this is a refurbished press which is one good way that you can get the heat press that you want and save money on it um heat press nation still does cover it you know if you have any issues or whatever even though it's refurbished but um you know i want it because i do already have two heat presses at my shop i just wanted a home setup and this is the 15 by 15 because i did not have a lot of space and i did not want to you know take up all the little space that i do have so basically right here i have the 15 by 15 and one reason i went with this press is because of the space saving abilities and the space saving feature if you guys been watching my videos you know the that this is an a pull out drawer press it's actually the auto open pull out drawer press so i'm gonna go ahead cut these little tabs off and set everything up and let you guys check it out managed to find some scissors they're not the best scissors i don't know what has happened to my scissors so i'm gonna go ahead and try to use these to go ahead and cut this tag off hopefully it'll do it because these are some like zigzag shaped scissors okay that's the tab right there all right so we'll lift it up all right come on now i don't know your girl gonna have to clean this press up a little bit. I know it's refurbished and all, but right there it's got a little dot on it. Then it's got a little dot up there, so I don't know exactly what that is. But I'm gonna have to get a rag to clean that off. This is the pull-out drawer right here, as you see. It's got the pull-out function on it and the auto open, so. All right. 
go ahead and close this down and turn it to the side like this because this is about how I'm going to um, have it facing this direction. Go ahead and drop the plug down so that I can plug it up. And make sure that everything is working. And y'all, even, even though it came with this extra handle, I'm probably not going to use it because I don't really need to. I think this handle will be for shorter people. And it, it's actually missing the screws because it would have to go right here. I don't know. I might I might just put it on there. But right now, I don't have the screws that comes with it. Let me see if they're in the box. Okay, so we got the feet right here. I'm going to go ahead and put the feet on here. All right, I don't see the screws in the box. I'm going to go ahead and take these feet right here. And put them on the press so that it won't scratch up my new desk. Maybe I should have did this part before I actually um, un un uh, unscrapped it, unstrapped it. Let me see where this goes. One of the feet would have to fall, huh? It would have to fall. see the screws are actually on this side so you have the option of putting this on the right side or you can put it on the left side so they just had it right there all right so I'm gonna go ahead and plug the heat press in right quick all right flip the power switch on and it is counting up so we're ready to print our first shirt but this is basically my setup right here as you guys see let me move all this stuff off and i'm gonna let you guys get a good look at it so here here's what my home setup is looking like from the vinyl cutter to my laptop all the way to the heat press and just to show you guys how little space this equipment takes up i'm gonna let you guys check it out like right here um all i have to do is turn my cutter sideways right there and i have enough area for my desk for a mouse or anything else even my right here as you guys see my hard drive i have space for a uh, external mouse right there pretty much you know space for everything that i need and when i get ready to print shirts all i have to do is slide that bad boy back out you know it's real quick and easy and it takes up just a little space are looking to get started in the t-shirt printing business and you're looking for a reasonably priced setup that does not take up a lot of space you guys can click on the links down below this video those are my affiliate links and all of everything that i talked about in this video you can find it down below so i appreciate you watching and uh, i will see you guys in another video press squad out